Okay, lesson one for Portrait Pro 15. The first thing you have to do is learn the interface. It's not real complicated, but there's a lot to it. I'll go over that first. So open up Portrait Pro 15. And this is what you see here. The first thing you have to do is open image. Right? And now go to, it'll open up your um, Windows Explorer. So open up whatever picture you want in there. And you're going to see this thing scrolling along. It says finding the faces in your image. You can do that. And if you look at the picture, you'll see lines on it. If the lines are pretty well matched to the person's face, then you can just click on the type of person it is. If it's a male, boy, girl, female. Female, I'm going to click. And I'll show you a more advanced feature in a minute. All right, there's female. You'll see it adjusting. Okay, as you can see, the program has already added some uh, prettying up features to the woman's face. Um, now, this is what you see here. This you can close out so you can see what you're doing. And it says delete current face, hit cancel. All right, now if you slide your mouse down like down here, you can see both pictures. Your first picture on the left is your original photo. The other side is the slightly enhanced photo. And you'll notice that her face is slimmer, her hair is a little brighter, her eyes look a little prettier. Very basic things, but you can glam people up a lot more in here and add makeup. It's a good program. Um, all right, so you've opened your photo that you'd like to work on. Now, there are views. You have view before only. You can view after only and that's your newly enhanced or edited photo or you can leave them both open like that normally I leave them both open and the reason for that is if you slide your cursor your mouse cursor down here you'll see it opens up again and if you need to ingest ingest not ingest please don't ingest it if you need to adjust any of these lines I think they're blue or purple you can move them around like this and as you can see your future picture will move too um, sometimes they come out of line properly, sometimes they don't. I'll show you later. But as you can see, the only adjustments I need to make, and this is important because this defines how the program handles your edits. See your eyebrows? Not quite a line. So I'm going to pull these down slightly to go where her eyebrows actually are. Just a little bit. Okay? See? Very simple. Nose looks pretty good. Lips could be moved a tiny bit. The lines around her face are good. And as you notice, her hairline's down a tiny bit. So I'm going to pull that up to where her actual hairline is. And if you look at your soon-to-be enhanced picture, you don't want to go too far up on her hairline because you see that white line? You don't want that. So you're going to go down, 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 right, so you don't see any more lines. All right. So now if you look at these lines, they're about right. <clears throat> All right. Now you're ready to work on your image. And again... You can do um, view before, view before and after, and view after only. All right. So let me show you um, how the interface works. If you look at this section over here, this top section is a scroll bar here. It moves up and down. This has like presets. For example, if you hit female standard, I don't want any tips. I don't need them. You can close those out. Female Standard, Female Glamorous, Female No Sculpt. And as you can see, Female No Sculpt changed the shape of the woman's face a bit. Uh, female No Lighting. So these are presets. Like, for example, they have something in here called Makeup Full Face 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. For example, here, Makeup Full Face. And as you can see, it added slight tints of makeup. You see her lips are slightly pinker. Her skin tone's evened out. Her eyes are a little bit brighter, a little more mascara. And there are some uh, lighter colored highlights along her face. Um, just to give you another example. There's other features. You could add jaw sculpting, enhanced cheekbones. I'll hit a few so you can see. Add neck, lengthen. Made her neck a little longer. You can smooth out her skin here. Again, these are, these are the presets. You scroll up and down to get these. Okay? Now, if you really want to go into more advanced work, 
Here's touch up. Touch up is cool. Like for example, this woman has pretty good skin, but if she didn't, like say I wanted to remove those slight dark circles near the bridge of her nose under her eyes, hit touch up. And you see a plus and minus. Put it on plus because you want to add features. And here you control the size of your uh, circle. And this is what you will work with then to make changes. You don't want it too big to start. You want it like maybe not too small. About right there. And this is the strength, the power of the changes you'll make. I usually keep it on 100%. So now I'm going to make my circle a little bigger. Now see under her eyes. Oh. Also, if you want to zoom in, if you're working on a more fine-tuned area, hit zoom and see, you can do that, that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get close to her eyes. Now, you're up here, you got your size set, and you click here. And as you can, oops, too much, undo, you can always undo. My circle's too big. So as you can see, I'm going to take the dark circles. You just click, 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 click. Look at that, removing dark circles like nothing. Alright, so that's a very important feature. And um, let me move in. And here, see this square? If you want to move around her face, you can. So I'm going to move down to her mouth. We're going to get rid of these smile lines. Look at that. Click, click, click. Easy as pie. Um, there's really not much to do. She has nice skin. Alright. Maybe take some freckles off the nose. Something like that, okay? And you want to see your whole face again. You can hit fit to get your whole picture face to get a close-up of the face or you can zoom with your slider so you can get really close so you want to be about right there and again you can do your view after if you want to but I like view before and after all right that's important to touch up and again undo is here or redo if you don't like what you did you undo it now I've showed you the presets up here very simple but very basic they don't do a lot all right, now down here, I'm not going to use them too much yet. I just want to show you how the interface works. You can scroll bar this up and down here, and they have all these different features that you can do. These are more advanced and more controllable. Face sculpt. Each one has little arrows, gray arrows. If you want to drop down the fuller menu, you hit face sculpt controls. You hit the down arrow, and as you can see, it opened up a lot of different things. You can change face shape. Widen eyes, mouth shape, plump lips, nose, length of neck, blah, blah, blah. All right? If you're done with that preset, you scroll back up and get it out of the way by hitting the arrow again. Closes it out. That's how all of these work. Like, for example, one of my favorite ones, which is an advanced feature in a, the program version 15, is makeup controls, which I'll show you in a separate video. But you basically drop down your menu. And look at this. You can do lipstick, and I'll show you a little. Look at that. Right? They have lipstick textures, like texture too. You can change color. You can make it a little harsh. You can make it light. There's all these features are here. Now, if you were done with lipstick, you just click the arrow again, and it closes that out. And then you can scroll with your scroll bar up and down. Pick out any advanced features you want to. Hair controls. You can change hair color. And again, all simple drop-down menus with gray arrows. Hair controls. Look at that. Hair color. And again, I'll show you further tutorials that detail each section um, in a more advanced way. Okay? But these are basics. So basically, that's how the interface works. You have your touch-up button up here. And you, I've shown you how to use the touch-up button. Where you can make it different sizes and adjust the strength, the power of the control. Um, here's your presets up here and down here are your more advanced controls they all have scroll bars up and down like that um, and save is like in any other program if you would have finished with your photo and save file save as you know same old thing you want to move it you know click on the directory where you want it to be name it whatever um, you use a JPEG as usual okay that's basically it for the interface. Interface. I can't talk. The interface. The next section will go into more advanced details. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, I'd like to explain one more thing in lesson one here. 
Remember when I told you about opening up your photo and you get those lines that you kind of have to slide around? I showed you the way in which the program itself dictates where the lines on the person's face goes, but really quickly I want to show you how you can do that yourself. And sometimes you'll open up a photo and if the person's head is turned a certain way or angled, the lines will be in funny places and if you let the uh, program itself do it, the person's face will come out kind of weird and distorted. So I'm going to show you real quickly how to um, do it yourself. Again, open up Portrait Pro 15, open image. There's your picture that you want to use. Double click. Now see, it says finding the images, I mean finding the faces in your image. Stop it by hitting cancel. Don't let it do it. Right? Oh, it's doing it anyway. Let me do it again. Discard. Alright. Open up Portrait Pro. Open image. You have to stop it pretty quick apparently. Alright, right there. On 7% or so. Cancel. Okay. Now, what you do here, you're going to make your own lines and dictate where they go. So now that you, you've canceled the uh, part that dictates for you, again, you can hit female, male, girl, boy. We're going to select female. And they have a little face over here that tells you exactly where to click. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but I wanted to show you how important this is to your final finished photo enhancement. All right, first thing it tells you to do is to click here. And again, it tells you on the left side of the screen and it gives you a little diagram here, see? Okay, click on the left corner of your subject's eye. And again here, diagram, and there's little prompts that tell you. Right corner of the right eye, tip of the nose, just follow along. All right, uh, left side of mouth, right side of mouth okay let it roll around a bit now when it zooms in like that it's telling you like I did before to adjust eyebrows so they're a little bit off and here you can also adjust eyes um, the machine captured it pretty good here or the program rather but I'm gonna pull it down because if you look at it the lines are a little bit up over her natural eyes so I'm gonna pull this down here pull this down here down here down there and um, right here is too far so I'm going to pull that back a little alright when you get through with the left eye hit next do the same thing again fix the eyebrow adjustment her lines um, eye looks pretty good here this one's pretty much perfect so there's not much to do maybe a little tweak like that and that so her eyes don't look all squinty maybe a little there okay right eye is done next now it's asking you is your subject's mouth open or closed this lady's mouth is closed so you hit mouth closed and as I said before you have to kind of make sure the lines are where they should be on the subject's face so if you look at what the uh, program's done for you it's a little too low it's below her lip on the bottom so you want to pull it up by grabbing these little like uh, what do you call them? I forget what you call these. Little, they're like little squares or circles. You just kind of grab them and move them around. If you look at her top lip, it's a little wacky too. So you want to adjust, pulling your little anchors, I guess. Pull it down a little bit. Doesn't have to be really precise, but you want to get pretty close. Make sure her mouth, side of her mouth, is where it should be. And if you look at her nose, you can kind of leave that alone. That's pretty much in the right place, except that you might want to pull it over a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. She has a narrower nose that's about it like I said it doesn't have to be perfect now hit next spacebar now if you look at that you got the facial features correct but look at the sides of her face that would come out all weird and distorted her ha hairline excuse me I'll leave where it is but the lines around her face have to be you know pretty close so you pull your little anchors their circles or squares Pull them exactly around the perimeter of her face like that. That should be pretty precise because if not, you get a funny like jawline or some weird protrusion or something deformed looking and you don't want that. So now, everything's kind of where it should be on her face. Double check it. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, hit next. And it's doing the same process again. It's loading up that. Um, and as you can see... 
you predefine these uh, yourself. And that's the only thing different than letting the machine do it. It depends on the angle of the person's face. Like her head's tilted to the side slightly, but sometimes you get somebody who's looking to the right or the left. So you may have to control where you adjust things yourself. And again, as you work and you see something you need to change as far as a facial adjustment, so structure, you can just kind of hover over again. Remember I told you view before only, view after only, view before and after. And again, I always leave it on view before and after. It's just easier for me, but you can do it how you like. And again, if you go over to the before page, or the before picture, and you hover, it allows you to move these again. So you're not locked in once you do it. See? See what happened if you're not right? Look at that. That's crazy. Ugh. Scary. All right. So that's it. So I just want to show you that you can either let the program dictate the definition of the face or you can do it yourself. Again, that's it for lesson one. There's a thin line between thin reality line. and psychosis. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>